Hey guys, Michael here from Apps Every Day, and today is actually the first edition of a new series happening every other Friday to coincide with the top five favorite apps called Is It Worth It? And in this series, I'm basically going to be downloading a paid app and let you know basically, is it worth it? Is it worth the price? Is it worth buying at all? Uh, so that way you don't have to waste your money. So today we're going to be taking a look at the number two top paid app right now called Touch Retouch. Now when we look at this, uh, we can see that basically the general gist is this thing is supposed to be a beast at removing objects from a scene. Now I am very familiar with software like this, especially like Content Aware built into Photoshop. Um, you have the Affinity Photo, that one's really good at it as well, kind of has a similar style where you basically just paint over something and then it uses some sort of uh, awareness where it looks at the surrounding pixels and basically repaints the background. Now what I will say about these sample images is they're all using pretty simplistic um, images and maybe that's what it's for. I mean we are on a mobile phone for example, this wave one is probably the most complex, but if you notice the patterns are still to the left and right uh, are the exact same. And then if we go to this one, these are just simple lines. Again, very simplistic um, and straightforward line structure as to not confuse it. We have a more complex image, but again, it's using just like a telephone line in the sky. And then here, uh, again, it's a grass background with a little bit of gravel at the bottom, but I can imagine that's pretty easy. Now, of course, a lot of situations you may have where that's useful. But then uh, let's check out some of the reviews here. Speaking pretty highly of it. Okay. Fraud, pay for it, blah, blah, blah. I've launched his only ability to use tutorials. Okay. So apparently that just person had a bug hate those reviews. Anyway, this guy is $1.99. Let's check it out and see if it's worth it. Alright, he just bought it. It's downloading now. Alright, opening it up here. Guessing we're getting a uh, quick tutorial. Looks very simplistic. You just draw on it. And pretty easy, nothing too groundbreaking. But again, it's it's mobile, so it should be pretty smart. What's new? Uh, gallery. Preview user interface. Oh, 360 photo editing. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then enhance the colors for the latest iPhones. So we'll go right into albums here. Of course, got to give it access to photos. And boom. Let's see. What shall we use? Hmm. We'll give some easy ones and then something a little bit more complex. So let's start with this one. We'll go real quick. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing quick repair. Is this where we just draw it? I can pinch to zoom in. And I'm just drawing. I do like the little magnifying in the top left since you can't see what's under your finger. Okay, pretty good. Made a little weird uh, unrealistic tree right there. Blemish remover. Quick brush, paint over that. There we go, make that a little bit more realistic. Oop, too far, go back one. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go back here. Object removal maybe. Keep the brush, maybe take the sign away. And hit go. Okay. Try quick repair a little bit on that. Bring some back. Yeah, pretty decent, pretty easy. Let's go back, let's find something a little bit more complex. This was from the same morning. Now again, this one shouldn't be too difficult uh, since it's surrounded by grass, but let's see, it's a lot larger. It's got some shadows. You always wanna make sure that you Remove any shadows as well. And we'll hit go. Not perfect. Um, it obviously removed it, 
but if you are familiar with um, any sort of Photoshop, especially the clone stamp tool, you can see that it basically just repeated a bunch of the same pattern um, and did not do the greatest job at blending. It's a little bit better. So yeah, again, I know I'm being pretty harsh on this just because I'm used to this type of more professional software, but for a phone, it is very fast. I will say the processing times is pretty incredible. Let's, uh, yeah, sure, jump in here. I saw Rolls Royce the other day. Now what's this line removal? So do I just draw it on the line? Okay. I get it, but it's that one's kind of annoying. Kind of just seems a lot easier to go in and just paint. Boom. That was easy. Hmm. <laughs> that was easy. There's that clone stamp tool. Yeah, so it just you pick a source basically and then it just redraws from there. So I guess if I wanted to go back, well, if I go back to latest edits, can I see any others? Before and after button. So I'm forced to touch my way in. I guess it just literally shows you your last edit. And now I think I'm stuck in here. The back button won't work. Uh, export options. Save as copy. Modify original. That's nice. Can even change the size. So decent export options. Yeah, it looks like that's just the last edit up there. Go to albums. Let's find one that's just pretty complex here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, so got this when we first painted our walls and I'm going to remove my dog which this one is I'd say like pretty let's see this one may be easy the shadows may cause an issue I will say that magnifying glass in the top left is extremely useful I really like that feature and that's basically all I'm staring at right now as I draw with my finger. So I can make sure I get the edges I want. Hit go. Wow, that did it very quickly. Now I could go in with the clone stamp tool. And try to blend things. Make it a little bit more. Bah, that's terrible. <laughs> Recently vacuumed, so there's perfect lines in the rug. So you basically would have to clone stamp. Like that line. And then with your finger. Basically, yeah, that's rough. Well, I guess if you uh, really wanted to stick to it, you could. Let's see something like this. This will be interesting. Could I remove him from the bars? As I imagine, the quick fix would not be the tool for this job. This would be if you want to get pretty tedious with it. Um, probably the clone stamp tool. Right there, but then you'd have to perfectly match that. 
Yeah. So if you spend the time to match these wood grains and everything, then the clone stamp would work with that. So yeah, so Touch Retouch uh, by A Adva Ava Soft. That seems like a pretty cool app if you want something to quickly remove the backgrounds. I do like how simplistic the app is, um, that there's not a ton of features. You know, it's not trying to be an all-in-one photo editor. It is for a very specific task, and it's on par with full-fledged programs like Photoshop. You know, if you really took the time, and I like that the clone stamp is there to give you more manual control, but the quick repairs, honestly, for most situations, like in these examples, are going to be perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, I definitely think it's worth the $1.99 if you would like it. Definitely let me know down in the comments below if you have this app, if you think you would buy it, and give me recommendations for other apps you'd like to see. Until then, I'll see you guys on Monday for another Apps Every Day.